Hey, what's up? Today I'm doing a Chamberlain coffee review because we don't have enough of those on YouTube. No, we do not. I'm Iris. If you don't know that already, let's see what I'm gonna buy because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know yet. Whatever strikes my fancy. But right now I'm on the Chamberlain coffee website. I'm seeing that she has just released a crew neck and sweatpant duo a sweatsuit if you will um and i'm interested but also i feel like this sweatsuit is white and there may be a problem with that and the fact that i will also be buying coffee you know what i mean like am i coordinated enough for that to be okay i think i will be trying two one one coffee blend I don't really drink coffee that much. But I also am curious about the decaf because the thing is that caffeine makes me crazy. I think I'll be going with the sleepy slaw and I'll get the whole bean. I think I'm gonna buy a grinder because whole bean is gonna last longer on my counter. So when I don't end up drinking it, it'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not gonna be trying these steep bags because I don't really like cold brew. It's way too strong for me I like making hot coffee and then putting it in the fridge so that it becomes cold coffee. Oh my god I'm seeing these little freaking gift Packs, that's so cute So cute. Okay, we'll also be getting one of these square mason jars because of the YouTube thumbnail possibilities Possibilities. Crew neck is $68. Would I normally ever buy that? Oh my god, it's sold out. Thank god Thank god someone is looking out for me. I also want to try one of the half calf blends though because who knows maybe I could be a half calf Kind of gal. So I'm kind of into the night owl and that's $72 right there. Do I want to do this video? Bro, I don't know. I have a sponsor, but does that make it okay? Like, damn, I'm trying to fund a short film right now. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you when I actually have the stuff. So before we get into the unboxing, I do want to take a moment to thank Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video and announce that I am officially an Ana Luisa ambassador. Ana Luisa has offset all of their carbon emissions and they don't mark up their prices because they care about keeping sustainable pieces accessible and affordable. Did you know that it takes 20 tons of earth mining to produce Produce a single gold ring. That's why Anna Luisa works with 100% recycled gold from pre-owned jewelry, electronic components, and recycled industrial metals so that you don't have to worry about the environmental and human costs that go into making your jewelry. And that's one thing that makes me really proud to represent this brand. My neighbors are home. <laughs> They can really see me right now. <laughs> I think it's really important to put thought into your buying choices, and it's nice to have a guarantee that pieces from Ana Luisa are not only sustainably made, but are coming from a company that puts the environment on their top list of priorities. Okay, so we've talked about sustainability. Now let's talk about how freaking cute these pieces are. This month from Ana Luisa, I received the Nicole earrings from the YouTuber Nicole Raffi. I know a lot of you watch her, I do too, and I'm obsessed with these earrings. Look at that, they're so cute. I also received the four Fortuna necklace, which has an eye design on it and it's mother of pearl, it's iridescent. I'm obsessed with it. I've been wearing it actually every single day since it arrived. And I've also been wearing the Emmy mini champagne earrings, which are these adorable little dangly earrings. I'm obsessed with stacking my pieces together. As you can see, I also have the Leo Bold short chain on right now. And all of the Ana Luisa pieces honestly pair really well together. Ana Luisa is also constantly putting out new designs because they make their jewelry in small batches. So check out the website to see what you might find. I'll have a link in my description and they're also running the biggest sale of the year right now, which is buy one, get one 60% off. So do not miss out. Get your loved ones something for the holidays or get yourself some cute sustainable jewelry. Thank you, Annalisa. I appreciate it so much. Okay, let's unbox. It's about a week and a half later. Our package has arrived. Let's do a little unboxing. I am really excited. I'm really excited. This is how it's all packaged up, ta-da. <laughs> so we have the Night Owl Blend and the Sleepy Sloth Decaf Blend. So the Night Owl Coffee's countries of origin are Colombia, Sumatra, and Peru. And the notes listed on here are dark roast, creamy, and rich. And this is three out of five in terms of caffeine strength. This one's countries of origin are Colombia and Sumatra, and the notes are juicy body, nutty chocolate, and candied fruit. So I'm curious to see how I'll like this one. And then also in here we have the mug. I'm digging this like recyclable packaging. This is what the jar looks like. I'm sure you all have seen this before. Um, yeah, honestly seems 
quality. It's just a jar, so you know, what can you do? It's really cute though. Cool, so let's get to some brewing. I'll probably be wearing something different because I'm not filming that part today, but unboxing done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try both of these coffees as the hot black coffee version and then I'm gonna chill them overnight and try them as iced coffee with creamer in the morning. I don't really drink black coffee, however, I can usually tell if I like something by the black coffee version. I can tell if there's a flavor I like in that or if it's just not gonna be for me usually. Right off the bat, the decaf blend doesn't lie when it says nutty chocolate. I open this and it smells so good. Like I, it smells, just like chocolate, it smells amazing. If we were comparing the smell of these beans, this would be a complete winner for me. Also, it's literally 10.30 p.m. right now, so I am only gonna be taking one sip of this, of both of these, honestly. This is decaf, so I'll be fine, but this one especially, I, I wanna sleep tonight. It's a very inoffensive taste. The fact that I can drink this as a black coffee is like, okay, yeah, I think I will enjoy this a lot. Okay, let's try this one. I think that it brewed smells a lot better than the beans on their own. Also good, not too acidic. The main sign I don't like a coffee is if it tastes too acidic to me. Like I literally cannot stand that. And both of these are, they pass the test, not too acidic, definitely tasty. This is very like smooth. Does that say that on it? It says creamy on here. It's very smooth, like very easy to drink. Just on its own. Take another sip of this one. Honestly, on its own, I might like this one better. Yeah, I stand by that. To be fair, I don't know if these are brewed to slightly different water to bean ratios. <laughs> this was not a very good, like, scientific test. Also, I'm not a coffee expert. I don't drink a lot of coffee. Or, I, I do. But, would I say I'm a coffee connoisseur? No. Okay. Let's pack these up. I will see you in the morning. Hello, it is morning. I don't know if you can tell, but I certainly can. And I'm gonna be trying these iced coffees now. Why is everything difficult? Okay, so here we have our two coffees, the decaf and the calf. This was the smallest container of creamer they had at Target. <laughs> this is the Natural Bliss Coconut Milk Creamer in Sweet Cream. And of course I have my metal straw. Save the turtles. Just for the thumbnail. The way that creamer looks when it goes into coffee is one of the most aesthetically pleasing things on this planet. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start out by trying the decaf blend. It's good, <laughs> goes down easy. This really reminds me of like, I don't know why I'm having this such a specific memory, but it reminds me of coffee I would make during like Christmas time two years ago. I think it might be the candied fruit element. I'm not sure. I guess this coffee just has similar flavor elements as whatever blend I was drinking at that time. But it's definitely good, you know. It's a yummy coffee. <laughs> and it doesn't feel like it lost its fullness when I added the creamer at all. Next up, we have the Night Owl Blend. This one's definitely a bit more bitter than the other. Is it because of the creamer ratio? Here, I'm gonna add a little more creamer to this one because there's sort of this dry, bitter taste that's happening and staying on my tongue. Uh-oh. <laughs> one second, I need a palate cleanser here. I don't know why, because I'm not a coffee expert, as I previously declared, but this feels like it's drying out my tongue. <laughs> I guess it just must be the dark roast, but it's supposed to taste creamy and rich also. And I feel like the drying out my tongue flavor element isn't creamy. <laughs> Call me crazy. I think it's just the dark roast element. So if you like a dark roast, then you might like this. And I, I don't think of myself as someone who doesn't like dark roasts, but it might just be a little too much for me. I don't know. It does really feel like it's drying out the top of my tongue in a weird way. And I 
I don't know why. Yeah, this one definitely feels like much more palatable to me than this one. Good on you, Sleepy Sloth blend, even though you're the decaf blend. <laughs> Probably a good thing that I like the decaf more than I like the caffeinated one. So my final thoughts on this. It's kind of interesting that I like this one as the hot coffee a little bit more than this one. And then in terms of iced coffee, this one tastes a lot better to me. It's possible that the flavor elements of the Sleepy Sloth blend just blend a little bit better with the creamer than the ones of the Night Owl blend, but I don't know. It's really all about personal taste. And I wouldn't say that either of these are like bad coffee blends. They don't like stick out to me as like, oh, that's immediately gross in any way or like clearly not high quality. It's just about personal preference and taste. Yeah, I'm curious what other people think of this blend. If you have a similar experience of it like drying out the top of your tongue, <laughs> so weird. But between these two coffee blends, I would definitely pick the Sleepy Sloth blend as my favorite. Would I spend another $20 on either of these coffee blends? I think this one was 20 and this one was like 18. I definitely wouldn't repurchase this one for that price. This one, maybe. It's really would just be for the brand name. You know what I mean? My fridge just turned on. So if you hear a little, that's why, that's what it is. But yeah, I'm definitely a fan of this in its iced coffee form. I hope you enjoyed this video of me just trying coffee. I hope it was fun for you. <laughs> I like these kind of variety type videos just because I find them really entertaining to film and to edit. And I like make, I just want to entertain you guys. Honestly, that's all I want to do with my YouTube channel. So <laughs> let me know what you thought in the comments, like, and subscribe. If you want to support me, I would appreciate it so much because my dream job is doing YouTube. So if you've tried Chamberlain coffee, let me know in the comments as well. Let me know your thoughts, your review. And once again, thank you, Anna Luisa, for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. Make sure you guys check out the link in my description to shop their Black Friday deals. I don't know if I have anything left to say, so I guess I'm saying goodbye. I will see you in the next one. The thing that's going on in my life right now, here's our little epilogue moment, as per usual. The thing going on in my life right now is I've been sick for the past week. I know it might not seem like it because filming gets me excited. So I like really like come into myself when I'm filming, but I've been sick for the past week and my roommate tested positive for COVID. So I don't know what's happening. I do not know what's going on. For the record, I tested negative twice last week. So pray for me. <laughs> Okay, bye.